Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I just wanted to do a 5G test between the Samsung Galaxy S23 series and Apple's iPhone 14 series. Now every phone in the S23 lineup uses Qualcomm's Snapdragon X70 modem, while every device in the iPhone 14 series uses Qualcomm's Snapdragon X65 system. Not a massive difference between the two, but it is the Samsung lineup that's using Qualcomm's latest and greatest. Uh, quick note, the agreement between Qualcomm and Apple to provide 5G modems ends in 2024. So the rumor is that Apple will be making its own 5G modems in 2024, but that remains to be seen. It looks like the iPhone 15 series coming out later this year will continue to sport Qualcomm's Snapdragon X series modems, probably the X70. So let's start here with the iPhone. We'll open up speed test here. I am on, again, T-Mobile's 5G network. Purchased this phone through the Apple Store. This one is the T-Mobile variant of the S23 Plus there on the left. Let's go. I am in the Washington DC area and I will test in three different spots in Northern Virginia. Pretty good speeds there. Definitely higher than when I first moved into this area a few years ago. Upload speeds. Very usable, nothing amazing. So there you have it. 443 down, 19.1 up. Let us try now with the S23 Plus and go. Okay, well, so far, despite the better modem or the newer one, not quite the top speed that the iPhone reached, believe it or not. back up here all right there you go the the iphone did better now i want to make it a habit to test twice at each spot so let's test one more time this time i'll start with actually i'm going to switch spots as well that probably doesn't matter but i'm going to start with the samsung galaxy s23 plus oops that is out of the frame there let's put that back So it looks like we're getting pretty much the same performance as we did the first time around. Second go around for the iPhone. And once again, the iPhone is topping 400 Mbps down. Looks like it averaged 392, so very close with the Samsung Galaxy S23, but again, a little bit higher. And the download speeds were a little bit slower this time around with Apple's iPhone 14 Pro versus the S23 Plus. Off to our second location. All right, y'all, we're here at our second location, starting with the iPhone. We are in Fairfax, Virginia now. Again, staying in Northern Virginia. And again, we're up over 400, approaching 500. We are over 500 megabits per second down on the iPhone 14 Pro there. Again, every phone in the iPhone 14 series is using the X65 uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 5G modem and our upload speeds much better this time around from the iPhone. Very good speeds there. Now let's start 
the S23 Plus, and again, every device on the S23 series is using the Qualcomm Snapdragon X70 modem, which theoretically should be better. And there we go, this time around we did top 500 on the S23 as well. Well, we've topped 600, so you're seeing that X70 flex its muscles here on T-Mobile's 5G network. And off to the upload speeds now. And this time it's reversed. The S23 beat the iPhone in download speeds, but the iPhone won with upload speeds. So a uh, pretty even race thus far. Let's exit out of this test. I'm gonna swap spaces here, probably pointless but why not, just to make everything completely even. This time I'll start with the S23. S23, this time not quite hitting 600, very, very close. Yes, now it has top 600. Upload speeds, close to the same as well. Now the iPhone. And the iPhone speeds look to be very similar to what they were in the first test as well. And upload speeds, um, maybe a little bit lower this time, uh, almost the same. So what's it, once again, what we're seeing here in our second spot here is that the iPhone uh, had a little bit slower download speeds, but faster upload speeds. Off to our third and final destination. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at our final destination. Sorry for uh, any camera shake here. Uh, I am in the Dulles Sterling area now. So uh, three distinct locations in the Washington DC area, Northern Virginia for this test. Let's start with the iPhone. And again, just as a reminder, the entire iPhone 14 series uses the Qualcomm Snapdragon X65 5G modem using an iPhone 14 Pro here. Same modem on the Pro Max and the regular iPhone 14. And looks like we are Approaching 400 megabits per second download, 391 on this first go around with the iPhone. Upload speeds have topped 30. Let's keep this screen on on the S23 Plus. All right, 391 down, 31.7 up on the iPhone. Getting started here with the S23. 23 and wow those download speeds suddenly just dropped dramatically and went right back up dramatically interesting that was a strange go around for the s23 plus again we're going to do it a second time here in case there was a you know a brief network hiccup or something like that all right 152 down to i'm sorry 22.5 up for the S23 Plus. So we'll go a second time around here. As mentioned, I'm gonna switch positions here, uh, switch the positions of these phones, and let's start with the S23 Plus this time. It looks like it's more consistent this time around. Again, hovering below 400. Are we gonna reach 400? No, not quite. 388 download. And our upload speeds hovering just over 20. All right, iPhone time. So 388 down this time around at 21.2 up for the S23 Plus using the Qualcomm Snapdragon X70 modem. Same one that's in the regular S23 and the S23 
Ultra. And 334 down on our final test with the iPhone and our upload speeds. Again, real similar to the S23 Plus, slightly higher at 23.7 this go round. So there you have it, folks. That is all for our 5G test using the T-Mobile network, the S23 series and its Qualcomm X70 modem, Snapdragon X70 modem versus the iPhone's uh, Snapdragon X65 modem. The X70 is probably coming to the iPhone for the iPhone 15 series. After that, Apple could be making their own 5G modem. So this is just for informational purposes. If you are deciding between these two phones, this should definitely not be a major factor because you are not going to notice the differences in these upload and download speeds doing your regular everyday tasks but uh you know in case you were just curious how these two stack up in terms of 5g speed there you have it i would say that mm, we, we saw the highest speeds probably with the s23 plus on the qualcomm uh snapdragon x70 but some of these readings uh, obviously it was topped by the x65 on the iphone 14 pro here so again negligible differences download and upload but there you have it thank you for watching everyone if you like mobile tech consider subscribing to the channel if you like this video leave a like so i know what kind of videos to create for you and i'll see you in the next one this video is sponsored by best no copyright music i'm often asked where it is i get the music that I include in my videos? The answer to that question is best no copyright music. Link to their channel is in the description.